Now's a good time to say that, uh, as you know, Magic is still executive vice, even though he sold the Lakers, is, is uh, sharing the Lakers, he's still executive vice president of the Lakers. So because the NBA is in a lockout situation, they sent us a note a couple days ago. If he talks about the Lakers here at all, the current Lakers, like I know you, I know you want to talk about Kobe. I know you do. He can't because he'll get fined a million dollars. And it's just, it's just not worth it, I'm sure. That, I no. mean, now, of course, I'll talk about Kobe. I ain't get fined. <laughs> I, I won't get fined. But, but no, but you don't hear me about Kobe. So anyway, I apologize for that. But that's David Stern himself sent a memo to us. He heard Magic was doing this, and they're thrilled about it. But it's, <laughs> it's the league rules. It's the, it's everybody in the league is, everybody in the league is just following him. So he can't even utter anything about the curtain. Believe me. <laughs> I'd ask him all, so we, we can't ask him about that. Well, go. So there was a time then, late in your career, I heard this story. You're in the back of a bus with Coop and uh, Byron Scott, mm -hmm. and you're talking about what you want to do after basketball. Right. And Coop says he wanted to coach women, and Byron said he wanted to coach men, and you said you wanted to be a businessman, yeah. which exactly all three things happened. Why did you want to be a businessman? Well, I think, you know, I've always wanted to be a businessman while I was still trying to be a good basketball player back when I was young. So um, I fulfilled the one dream and goal by, you know, playing with the Lakers. And then after I was done and I was retired, I wanted to go into my, my next goal and dream, which was to be a, a businessman. And who would ever thought, here we are, you know, three guys sitting, th three rows, three seats in a row, and Coop says, I want to coach women's basketball. And we both looked, my, Byron and I looked at each other, what? <laughs> he said, yeah, I want to coach women's basketball. And who would have ever thought here he is doing just what he talked about. Now, we're in the NBA. We're at the height of our careers, and we're talking about life after basketball, after the NBA. Then Byron Scott said, I want to coach in the NBA. I want to be a coach. He's now a coach. Is that, is that unbelievable? And then I'm sitting there saying, I want to be a businessman. I mean, that's, that's what we talk about, setting goals, being disciplined, following your, 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 your dreams. And we all are doing what we said we wanted to do afterwards. And so business has been a blessing for me, putting a lot of people to work every single day and you know, putting what, over 30,000 minorities to work. Uh, it's really been great. Um, I have great people that I work with and work for me and you know the Starbucks and all the things that I used to own and still own today has just been uh, great and can you do me a favor I got a lot of people in here who work for me today so all the, my staff stand up we got the foundation we got the enterprise in here so yeah they all yeah so <clears throat> and the one good thing about Chris Chris went to LMU here, so that's great about Chris, yeah. And Bill, people didn't know, I used to practice on this court right here. This is where the Lakers used to practice. That's right. Yeah, so we had good, 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 great memories here. And so being a businessman is, is something that uh, I get to bless people around the country, and uh, we do, I get to do great things, and... Uh, Thank God I was smart enough to save my money when I was playing and, uh, and, and, and made the right investments. And so it's, it's been a, a, a great career. First started with basketball and now with, uh, in business. You know what's amazing? Does anybody think it's been over nearly 20 years since he played a game, yet his impact, Magic's impact, is still incredible throughout? Is there any other athlete like that? Your impact. Oh, Thank you. you. Would you agree? Is it some, there's a lot of people who know you as a famous and as an important American who never saw you play basketball, right. who never even, and, and that must make you proud. Yeah, it does. I mean, it, it, it's amazing when young kids come up to me now, Magic, can I have your autograph? And none of them have ever seen me play. But unless their dad pushed the rewind button. <laughs> but or, they've gone to your Starbucks, yeah, they've watched yeah, movies at your a, movie theaters, exactly. they've worked for you. All right, yeah. quick question. So how many Starbucks did you own at the height of your? I built 125 Starbucks. All right. Uh, when, you go into, when you go into Starbucks, what do you order? When I go into Starbucks, what I order was tea. I'm a tea drinker. Just what kind? Just straight tea? Venti? Yeah, yeah. Latte? What? Just a nah, tea? No, nah, I'm, I'm not a fancy guy. I just like tea. 
give me some herbal tea and I'm good. What know? name? What name do they write on the cup? Irvin or Magic? Uh, boss. <laughs> 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 all right. So, all right. So when you're when you're watching a movie, one of your now now how many Magic Johnson movie theaters did you? Did we you built know? we built six of them. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. When you're in a movie theater, you imagine what you popcorn guy. What what do you? What no, do you I I have to watch a movie with popcorn. I, I do not I do not go to the movie. Cookie and I can go to dinner. Then to the movie, I still have to have popcorn, and I'm not sharing with her. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm a, I'm. Look, I grew up poor. Now follow me on this. <laughs> Six sisters, three brothers. My dad, and mom used to say, everybody get one or something. So I had to team up with my brother or sister. I get the popcorn, they get the soda. So it's two of us. <laughs> so I shared my whole life. <laughs> so when I got to this age, I'm not sharing. No, I want all my own popcorn. But, butter, so, butter? So now, because now I can't afford to buy you know, the popcorn. <laughs> so I said, cookie, baby. You want some popcorn? No problem. <laughs> I will buy you your popcorn. <laughs> but this one over here is mine. But I love popcorn. I love it. And, and I got to have it. We're going to go to a movie tonight. We, we go to movies. That's what we do. We go to concerts and movies. And try to go to an early one and go to bed so I can get up and go to church in the morning. So, you know, that's what we do. And then tomorrow... I have all my scholars, and some of them graduated, so we're going to honor them. And also, we get to see uh, all the incredible young people and send them away. They've been here for about four days in Los Angeles, so it's been great. So, but that's our date, movie night and concerts and uh, just hanging out and looking at each other. Because Cookie's also my best friend, too.